Hi team, it's Chris from Synth Studio with a little follow-up that was requested by a handful of folks asking me to show just a little bit more in depth how I use the Rode Wireless Go 2 with my headphones. And so I'll show you that up close. I will show the connections and talk a little bit about the default settings of the Rode Wireless Go 2. To get started, I've got my 1010 Music Black Box here. As you can see, nothing is plugged in to the Black box right now. I will plug into the headphone port and the first connection I'll make is using just a normal stereo TRS patch cable into the headphone jack. You know, that could be plugged into any groove box, any headphone jack, any stereo audio cable will work just fine. And then I will take the transmitter. So the way you can tell which one of, of the set. They're, they're not the same unit. One is a receiver and one is a transmitter. The way you can tell them apart, the transmitter has a built-in microphone on top and no screen and the receiver has a little screen. So to turn these on, you hold down the little power button that has the road O slash on it. You hold them for a second. So I'm talking directly into that mic right now, you can see the levels. What I just wanted to show there is that out of the box, when you buy a set of these, they're paired by default. If for some reason they become unpaired, I have not had any trouble with that, but if they become unpaired, then there's really simple and really helpful pairing instructions in the included quick start guide. This is very handy. I have kept mine because it's so well put together as a guide. Refer to that, I'm not gonna walk you through how to on that but you pretty much just turn them on and you can tell that they're paired if the two blue lights come on. And of course, if you're seeing levels come on to the receiver screen. So without further ado, this is what I'm gonna do. Plug the transmitter. This will connect to the device that is transmitting the audio. So that will be your groove box, whatever is creating sound that you want to be sent somewhere else. Plug that into the transmitter and you can see there's just a three and a half millimeter headphone jack there. So the audio is coming out of your groove box from the headphone port and traveling through the cable and going into the input of the transmitter. So now the transmitter has a signal to send to the receiver. When you plug in something into this input, it disables this mic. You won't see any levels unless I trigger a sample. Now you can see levels here. There are a couple attenuation options on the receiver but I don't tend to ever touch those. It's just easier to adjust headphone volume or whatever on the device itself. On the headphone side, what I do is I plug in this tiny little patch cable. So I plug that in. I have my headphone jack here. That's just a normal three and a half millimeter. Plug the other end in there and then I swing this thing around and just stick it onto the Velcro. But this could also be an audio interface, you know, hooked up to speakers. That is how I use the Rode Wireless Go 2 to get super low latency wireless audio to my headphones or the speakers in my office. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, ask those below. I'm happy to answer any questions about this setup. Something I love. I would love to see more people doing it. I think it's a great little hack, especially if you have use for a wireless microphone setup like I do. That's it for today. I'll catch you guys next time.